Hi, Andrew here at Masterpiece Fitness Training. I just did a video for advanced people with the very same exercises I'm going to do right now, only a modified version. So they'll both be available to you depending on where you're at in your fitness. But I'm going to repeat exactly what I said before. If you've been with me for any amount of time, you know that I'm all about setting goals. And part of the goals process is repeating those goals over and over again. And part of that is visualization in there. So you're visualizing those goals. So they say, and whoever they is, probably people who study the brain, that your brain doesn't know the difference between imagining your, yourself somewhere and, and actually being there. So the more you can visualize things and process in your head with your mind and your words and your language, the more your brain can see that it's a possibility. And so by extension, what I really want to say here is that we don't have any negative self-talk. So let's make that our goal for the next six weeks or so or whatever, that we have no negative self-talk. And that even includes things like, I'm such a, a, so uncoordinated, or this leg isn't very strong, things like that. So think about making that into a positive self-talk, okay? You think about that. I can help you with that if you need to. So I have three exercises here, just like I did in the advanced, only this is a little bit modified. I did hanging toe taps before. I'm going to do a reverse crunch on the ground. And then I did a spider woman push up, and I'm going to have this modified bar right here behind me for that. And then kettlebell swing, which pretty much anyone can do unless you just seriously have some, uh, some pain issues in the back. So the same thing, and, uh, and we'll do the same type of circuit. So pick a number. On the advanced, I did five. I think we probably could go up to, to 10 reps of 10. But let's just say it's five. So we'll do five, then we'll take a short, short, short break, then four, then three, then two, then one. And I'm thinking like a 30 second break, provided that your form can maintain uh, to, to, be, to be good. Okay, so reverse crunches here. Put my head right up against the bar. Grab onto here. And the reason is because you can get a little bit more range that way. So I'm just going to do five, right? And some of you, you're not going to get that range like I have. Some of you, it's, it's, it's just a little bit, it feels like a little bit, but you're working, you're doing it. And this helps. And then some people don't even need to hold on. Some people can actually bring their hips up without needing that. So count five of those and tons of ranges right here. Grab on, don't grab on. Sometimes you can get a big range. Some people can bring their feet down without their back leaving the ground. A lot of people can't, so just be very careful with that. Then the next one is the Spider Woman push-up. I have this bar at number 14 on my squat rack, so whatever, wherever you're at. So it's a push-up with a knee up, a push-up with a knee. And remember that bar comes to the chest level, right? So eventually, at some point, sometimes you start doing these things and then you end up kind of out here. So just correct it. And we're doing five each side. I've already lost count. But let's just say I'm on four, four, and five, five. And some of the things that happen right here is that butt starts to drop. Just make sure that doesn't drop. And, uh, and at that point, you just need to rest and continue your count. And then I'm going to do a kettlebell swing. I like it to be alternate arm, and your kettlebell swing is a butt exercise, it's not an arm exercise. So for me, before I even start my count, I'm going to swing it up there using the strength of my hips. One, one, two, two, drive it up with the hips. Three, you see I have like very little arm, just kind of at the bottom to give it some momentum. Four, four. Five, five. So it's just three exercises and go down in number. So five, four, three, two. So now you can take a short break or just keep going and make that a round. And then do as many rounds as you want. Or start with 10 and go all the way down and make that your workout. So kind of some ways to think about it. So remember this week, no, or this season, or forever. No negative self-talk. Think positive. Think about, think about, it's not just about positive thinking, it's just about no, it's just about not cutting yourself down and even sometimes joking. So, okay? All right, be good to yourself. Love yourself. Admire yourself. All right. Thanks for joining me.